Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen. Mallory and Scott here at Equip Expo. Sorry if you can't hear us too good. I lost my windscreen for my mic and it might not work well. Are you ready to get in here? We came in a little early, yeah. about an hour early. So uh, we're just hanging out. Got our badges. Got our badges. Beautiful. Signed up to win a pink Echo handheld blower. Do you remember I tried last year? So didn't work. So we'll we're trying again this year, though. We're gonna try. Yes, we're gonna try. Let's uh, let's get in here and show y'all a few things. Let's do it. these new companies coming out with electric equipment and that kind of stuff if you use it or if you know about it let me know shoot it down in the comments below coming to a home depot near you Gotta love the equipment, Defender. You know, we gotta stop by our friends here at Cujo. Checking out some new colors. I like that. You know, I have those. We both have those. And I need a pair of those. Yeah, no, we do. I did hear that they have new pants. Let's go see what the new pants look like. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. A little, little fleece, a little comfy right there. The Surge is the new boot. Waterproof. I feel like I definitely need some of those. I'm always a big red fan. I like the red and then the waterproof. Papa Noe, this is for you. 
42 inch. You guys saw the mower lift that we have. It's not Mojack, but we always like to get these deck scrapers, little putty knives. <laughs> they, uh, they're they worth their weight in gold. I love them yeah. things. I don't know anybody and I don't sell them. Came over here to AgriFab because we have the uh, Cub Cadet, excuse me, the Cub Cadet no, we have the Husqvarna. Let's speak what we have now. We have the Husqvarna with the sleeve hitch, but I don't really see a whole lot. This is more for front mount mowing. Mower. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing them this guy. Look at this guy. Goodness gracious alive. Look how tall this thing is. I mean, I know it's extended, but still, look at this guy. You look mighty comfortable on that thing. Maybe we should try to get one. Huh, a bigger deck? Bigger, What'd you call me? A bigger deck. <laughs> this is the 60 inch version, but this is this pretty much the same mower that we have. Over here with our friends at Cookie Deck, we're about to go get some hats, you know, do some hats and stuff. What are you looking at over there, lady? Yeah, I think. I think that one looks a little better on ya. Our guys that we know have these in stock almost all the time. So the, this one's the bag in. Yeah, it's got a little grass catcher on there. Very nice. I wanna go ride one. Point four hours. Super. Just beautiful. Very nice. What's this thing? Which side? The oiler. Well, let's see what they call it. <laughs> DHS 3006. I like that. Now we like our Echo. We love our Echo. But if I realized that they had this before we bought our Honda push mower, I'd have probably got it. They're all programmed that. What? That's programmed. Yeah. It's just it's automatic. It's just huge. No. That's a bigger bagging system yeah, yeah. than the, well, I mean, the Honda that we have. 
You got your little water hose system there. Not bad. And then one lever to adjust your whole deck instead of three or four different ones. Oh, they've got the they've got the blades upside down just in case. Are you having fun so far? Yeah, I'm enjoying uh, catching up with everybody. Hold on, it, you got this big old bag. <laughs> it's in my way. It's, it's blocking me. Let's change it up here. There we go. There we go. All right. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm having uh, fun. I've I've enjoyed you know catching up with everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, Haven't met anybody new this year. There's a bunch, of, a bunch of new stuff, which y'all probably seen a little bit of it. There's no way we can get all this stuff. I mean, there's all kinds of junk. You just gotta come and experience it yourself. Oh yeah. But I can smell it, and they told us about it. There's beer coming, and we are going to it. Let's go grab us a brewski. And see if I won my blower. Yeah, I we need to win, win that blower. <laughs> hey man, you got a beer? It's in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna look at myself. Your key. I have to find it. Leave me alone. Okay, I found it. Just got back to the hotel. We are done for day one. Not really a whole Don't lot. Show them no, how you're not gonna see our is. dirty ass room, dirty butt room. You are not gonna see how dirty our room is. But you can show them all the goodies we got. We today. do got some goodies. Um, <laughs> just getting back to the hotel. Had a good night. Had a good day. Just a little bit of back and forth. Uh, and then uh, we went bowling for Mr. Mac himself. He had a little get together, that was awesome. We do have a bed full of goodies, but we are gonna turn it in for the night. We appreciate you watching this day one video. <clears throat> Tomorrow, day two, is outside. We're gonna go play a little bit. We're gonna get get uh down and dirty with some oh, mowers look at our cool cups we got oh yeah got some nice cups it pays to talk to people talk to them just just, just, just talking just just talk all right we'll see y'all in the morning good night new day same video hello hello oh there's a hat get us a hat forced we are over here on the west side of it west wing there's a bunch of different things around here everything from chevy commercial to forced they got a bunch of cool stuff we're just uh like i say just walking around kind of messing until we get a little bit warmer outside we'll go 
outside. But we're just playing around like now. Let's see, uh, let's see what we can find. The Walker booth. We were just talking to a gentleman over there who's got one since 2002, and the engine, uh, the original engine, has over 7,200 hours. 7,200 hours on a Walker mower. But yeah, this is my dream setup. Get me a, a good walker with a snow blade on the front and then a the high lift on the back. That's what I'm talking about. And then what I do here, grab a hold of that, and I like to get behind it, put both hands on here, and just drop my bottom down and lean my weight on it. It basically is going to hang your weight off the end of that there. And then just pull straight back and stay steady. It'll scale the weight over time. It'll keep going up. Here we go, 445, sweet. So you can, like she was telling you, you can be really selective, quickly and easily get these uh, weedy trees out that you don't want. Yeah. And um, you're not tearing up other plants. Thank you. And uh, I like that. These That's hard for these days. Like I say, this is a new venture. It was kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. Right. But you know, you don't learn. You know, you don't learn if you don't try. Now you know, adding that different dimension to your business. Obviously, we all want to diversify our businesses and everything, but I think there's a common misconception that we need to dispel, that as a commercial cutter and owner of a property management company, it's not just about mowing grass. No. It, there is so much more to it that I don't think folks really understand or even appreciate. That's true. That's true. It, it, I mean, that's all aspects. Um, the reason why I name my business as property management is because you know, later on down the line, if I decide to get into other ventures, then I can have everything under one umbrella. Instead of having several LLCs, which is nothing wrong with that, I can have everything under one umbrella. Right. So that's the reason why I did it. But I mean, I mean, you can do um, snow removal, uh, mowing, weekly maintenance, junk removal. Take a break from the show floor to visit and even adopt rescue dogs dog oh. in the West Wing.
Yeah. What? You just saw that echo. Uh, well, I'll have to look at the numbers. I don't know what it is, but it's it's awesome. It's got variable speed where if it starts getting caught up, it'll it'll gear it up a little bit. It speeds it up. I mean, that was that's a good little unit. That will be on the truck very very soon. button and then do this. I know, it was on. No, hit it, hold up, hold up. Hit it and hold it, and then squeeze this and you can let that go.
ticker thingy at one o'clock. Mr. Chunt, we're on the way, sir. delay yeah. versus hydraulics you can uh, you know you give it the controls and it takes I mean fraction of a second but it still takes a little bit to uh, respond but other than that I mean I, I, I kind of like that I kind of like that mower and it looks good Honda mowers always have a good look to them Sat down for a bite to eat. A little hot dog, a little Pepsi. Both overpriced, but uh, I don't know. It's edible. All right, I'm gonna start ranting. They need to do a little bit better on the food uh, yeah. here and the pricing here for food and drink. If you want a vending machine drink, it's five dollars. Five dollars for a vending machine drink. That's even for a bottle of water. Well, a bottle of water might be four dollars. Still, that's, that's, that's still too much. Too much. But then uh, two yeah. hot dogs and two drinks that size was twenty-five dollars, and I'm sure I could get a better hot dog at. Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> really wasn't. Some, good. Some. But again, I, I get it. You know, you got a lot of people. You want to make a good dollar. Yeah. But at the same time, yeah. you got to do a little bit better, guys. They, they make a good dollar, all right. That's the truth. Welcome to Oval, Kentucky. We're here at the East Road Expo. John's here. What's up, Mark? See? Look at this thing. They you see me the rolling. They hating. Look, I could put on a light. That doesn't work right now. I'm cold. Ooh, put some heat on in here. Close my door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I could. They got the brush on there, but I'm sure there's different attachments. Yeah, there you go. Mowing deck. Snow blower. And a front blade. I could get down with that. Right. It's kind of goofy. Now, really, babe, this is the next thing we need in in the driveway. I 
do I look good driving it? <laughs> yeah, you didn't say it like that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we need one of these in the fleet. You know how cars have a new smell to them? Oh yeah. Well, Equi machines do. Equipment's got a new smell. That was my sunglasses. Did you drop them? Very nice, very clean. been got. You've been tagged. Mitch and Gordy. Aaron. With Aaron's room. Oh, Day three, new day, same video. Look at this guy, 144 inch Z Master. That is a big, big yeah. unit. We're gonna do a little Cujo shout out. Because our guys over here at Cujo are awesome. We just got Mallory some new jacks, uh, shoes, slip-ons. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, family owned, operated. I mean, the whole family, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're that good, is... good, good folks. So if you get a chance, if you ever think about it, check them out. Cujo Yardway.
You will walk it through. You can never leave without trying out a walker. Coffee. Walker coffee. <laughs> I mean the walker mowers, honestly. But she wants the coffee, that's fine. And the right mowers. Oh, yeah. Those two mowers, just in my opinion, are just quality built, great machines. Uh, I, I don't know. Great companies to, uh, to work with, I feel like. But let's see what else we can get a hold of today, huh? Sounds good to me. right here babe another one yes another one of our dream companies to have um uh, we are done for the 2024 equip expo are you tired we've done a lot of a lot of walking around a lot of meeting and greeting we've seen a couple of, of you guys a couple of our awesome fan so that was yes, cool to see we did. It, we did we met a few few of our subscribers yeah. yes man so uh which that's cool we we appreciate that oh yeah we that's always that. it's always fun trying to uh get up and meet up with you guys we uh enjoy every second of it that's why we do it if it wasn't for you guys We'd probably still be posting videos, but nobody be watching. <laughs> but as always, we greatly, greatly appreciate you watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Caffeine in the dream, trying to get ready for the ride home. We will catch you in the next one.